All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here tonight on the show. I'm here tonight to talk about some NBA news. Uh, we're here to talk about what happened last night between uh, in the Suns and uh, Pelicans game. About Zion's dunk there at the end. We talk, we talk about DeAndre Ayton's quote he said after the game and Cam Payne. There's a little scuff at the game. We're going to talk about those two quotes. And we'll talk about some more stuff. So, DeAndre Ayton uh, didn't have an issue with Zion Williamson's 360 dunk there at the end. A uh, young superstar, Zion Williamson, he com completed a 360 dunk there at the end. At, and uh, at the end of uh, the win there, 120, 120, 117, 126-117, uh, DeAndre Ayton. Said he didn't have an issue with his 360 dunk. It's a home court. He's doing it for his fans. I don't take any of that stuff personal. End quote. And he has the awareness not to be a soft crybaby after losing. I mean, it's just Suns players besides him overreacted too much. And DeAndre Ayton didn't really play bad last night. He had 20, 25 and 14 and on 11 of 15, so he didn't shoot bad last night. It was just, he was the only player not to really overreact. <coughs> and if you don't want someone, if you don't want someone to do a 360 dunk there in your team at the end, then don't let them. It's that simple. Just play defense until the buzzer. That's crazy. He's the only likable Suns player, and probably Mikael Bridges. That's probably why he wants to leave out there, because everybody in that locker room is just, just a baby. And no one came to heaven when he got pushed like that locker room. Just a bunch of crybabies there, Phoenix. Like the Suns had to be the most pussiest team in the NBA. You love hearing that from DeAndre Ayton. He's 100% right. He doesn't want to be there, and he's too mature to be a member of the Suns. Because everybody else overreacted. The Suns do this all the time. Just Phoenix is just not a classy team. That man wants out of it. Report rival executives are bracing for fireworks if the Raptors remain around 500 in two months. So what trade would they make? Um, I don't know what they would trade or who they would trade for. But, I don't know. But Firework equals their owner harassing other GMs give up their superstars for like Chris Boucher and a bag of Doritos or peanuts. Like. Jesus Christ. Kevin Durant over his last 12 games has put up 29.6 points per game, 6.8 rebounds per game, 5.6 assists per game, um, at a shoot at a 59.6% rate and a 91.8% free throw rate. And they're nine and three in their last twelve games. Kevin Durant's been amazing these last twelve. Nearly put up thirty points per game. Um, um, he's nearly put pretty much average on seven rebounds and, five, and nearly six assists. Should be an MVP talks. I don't know if he'll be MVP this season, but he'll definitely be. Um, He'll definitely uh, be an MVP toss. And his three is off right now, but he's going to go crazy once he starts to find his group from three because he's not shooting his best from three, and he's still putting up nearly 30 points per game. And that's only like 60% field goal percentage, uh, about 30 points per game. And that's especially is ridiculous for a guy especially lives around the mid-range. Crazy efficiency. Now here's the other quote I want to talk about Cam Payne was... I feel like there was no sportsmanship. Come on. If you don't want them to do a 360 dunk, how about you go back there and play defense? It's at their home court. 
You're gonna be number one in the number one in the West? Like what do you expect, campaign? And we really don't like that. Well, how about you go back, play defense, don't let them score and do the three sixty dunk. Simple as that. We do the right thing. I felt like they should have done the right thing. And they didn't. And they didn't. The game was over. They can hold the ball. Campaign on Zon. B A E S P N. Just I just, I just don't get this, man. Like, I just don't get how you get something about her over this. And this is your starting point guard. Um, Chris Paul basically, uh, just trash, man, like, the, the, the Suns were up 110-97 last year in that playoff game with 20 seconds to go, and they done a slam dunk, they done the same thing against uh, the Dallas Mavericks, up 108-80 with uh, a few seconds left, and that's, and that's worse because the Suns have run offense, they've done it two, three times. And he's done it again before on the Houston Rockets. Um, while players didn't drown out the clock, he went for a, or went right to the rim for a layup with his team leading by seven on under 20 seconds remaining. And he said, y'all wasn't guarding. I get you up by seven on under 20 seconds, but it's not like they're going to foul. And he also probably said this to Patrick Beverly. Uh, you bum-ass N-word. That's why my son got more money in the bank than you'll ever have to DeMarcus Cousin in Game 6, the Western Conference Finals. That's why Patrick Beverly shoved him, which I don't, I don't condone shoving someone when their back's turned. But Chris Paul's just a terrible, terrible human. Um, sons as a whole are just not classy. And I feel like part of it, why Chris Paul's not as classy as he used to be, is because he's on a, the Phoenix Suns and they're... They just don't have a good, their locker room's toxic, they just have a bunch of toxic players. Besides DeAndre Ayton, I actually just like DeAndre Ayton, but, yeah. Uh, but the Trey Young purchases a, purchases a $20 million mansion in Southern California. So he's reportedly purchased the $20 million mansion that used to belong to NFL star Clay Matthews. Um, and, like... Who the hell wants to stay in Boston all year? Like, like imagine leaving Milwaukee, Portland, Cleveland year round as a million, as a multi-millionaire. Like, that's insane. And you can live in California. But the Lakers fans are going to eat this up, man. They're going to say Eastern California, and they're, or Southern California, they're going to be like, Oh my lord, we're getting Trey Young. It's not going to happen. Now maybe it could be, maybe it is a sign he could leave the Atlanta Hawks. Who knows? The Nets were giving away Ben 10 shirts in yesterday's game. <laughs> uh, report the Knicks are monitor monitoring the Chicago's trade pieces. So they're trying to look at Chicago's trade pieces, see if they can maybe get somebody. Uh, maybe like a Zach Levine or somebody. But just not to play them. If, but if you're going to make a trade, then you got to play him. Like, if you trade for Cam Reddish, you got to play him, which they didn't. They're probably going to trade him. So, if you're, if you're the Knicks, if you're going to trade for somebody, you got to play him. Like, come on. Charles Barkley says the Bulls need to blow it up. You're not good enough. It's time to start the rebuild. So, he said that a few days ago the Heat need to blow it up. Now, he's saying the Bulls need to blow it up and start the rebuild. Um, and people will say, oh, it's a fully healthy Lonzo, DeMar, Zach with first seed, and they couldn't beat playoff teams. I'm sorry. Like, teams aren't worried about the Bulls. But I just don't, but I mean, Charles Barkley... Did say like the Celtics ain't blowed up when Tatum and Brown weren't playing good. 
and it was only their second season together, and, it was been, and it's all been riddled with injuries. This year, they're healthy, and they've actually been doing good. And A.O. and Patrick Williams haven't really improved. Well, A.O. has a little bit. Patrick Williams hasn't really that much. But, yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll see in a few months. NBA Insider believes the Mavericks have a two-year window to convince Luka Doncic that Dallas can contend. So, they believe the Mavericks, an NBA Insider, believes they have a two-year window. Um... I don't know what more the Mavericks can do at this point. I don't think Dallas is a problem. It's just the talent. Outside of Luka, you've got a bunch of average players. It's just outside of you got a bunch of average players. Uh, so, the M updated MVP ladder is 1, Jason Tatum, 2, Giannis Antetokounmpo, 3, Luka Doncic, 4, Nikola Jokic, 5, John Morant, 6, Devin Booker, Donovan Mitchell slash Kevin Durant tied at 7, Anthony Davis at 9, and Zion Williamson at 10. Um, so, I mean, Luka only has 2 less losses and Steph's team is playing worse than Steph. This isn't a knock on Luka, it's just Steph's playing so insane this year. How is Steph not even top 10 when Luka's top 3? I mean, come on. Anthony Lamb has been named in a civil lawsuit filed against the University of Vermont by three former students. A fellow student athlete claims Lamb sexually assaulted her in 2019 at an off-campus party. And people will say, oh, they wait till he starts to blow up or basically mean making money because he has a plane the best. I mean, he's decent, but these came out a while ago. The, the lawsuit is just now being filed against Anthony Lamb. And if it's, and this is most likely true. And if, why is he on the team? If these, with these allegations, um, let's just get something straight. We don't claim Anthony Lamb on this team. Now, I would love to know about the Warriors' justification for inviting Lamb to camp the spot or a few, or back in October when they invited him to camp, now that they have him, being accused of multiple sexual assaults, and I just don't know why he's still on the team. I'm sorry. And, I don't know. These allegations have been around for years. People will just go immediately to defend Say people that uh, are the ones that are sexually assaulting people. These allegations have been out since he was in college. This is not no like moment, no like no news. I think she told the school, but they didn't do anything. And. People will go all the, uh, will go go to defend the men when they sexually assault people. It's just stupid. But yeah, uh, that's all I'll say for this video. I'll recap the Warriors game tonight against the Celtics. Hopefully we don't get blown out, so I want to come in here and rant. I, I was going to enter the Jazz game, but it was too late. I just didn't feel like talking about it, so yeah, until next time, peace.